Hey guys, welcome to ITS in our Knot of the Week series. Today we are continuing our hitches with the sheep shank. And let's get right into it. Okay, so with the sheep shank, there's two different variations I'm going to tie today, but the premise behind a sheep shank is that you can use it to either shorten a rope or you can use it to almost take the weight off of a damaged section of rope. So as a caveat, you'll never want to actually climb or do any kind of life-saving application with a damaged rope. You always want to go to a, a new rope for that, but I will show you how to get around that if you're working with a damaged rope. So first off, I'll show you the kind of hasty method that I use. Um, there's a couple of different ways to do this. You can cross loops like this. So you'll do overhand loops, and that's how I refer to this. So that's one overhand, two overhand, three overhand, and then you're going to position this so that the right hand loop crosses over the center and the center loop kind of goes back between the left hand loop. And then what you're going to do is as you pull the center loop, you're going to almost tighten the other sides. So what this is doing as this tightens is it's taking tension off of the center section. So that middle loop, the top of the middle loop is where your damage would go. Um, but if you're shortening a rope, it really doesn't matter in that sense. So traditionally a sheep shank kind of looks like this. I'm flattening this out to show you what the deal is here. So traditionally a sheep shank looks like it comes from opposite directions. So the, the actual standing part or the, the working ends now of this actually look like they're coming from different directions and that can be achieved just by kind of twisting this around so you can see they both come from the same direction now and just with a little twist they do look like they're coming from the opposite side. Now this method is a little more hasty and a little less secure than the next version but I wanted to at least show you the the hasty method for tying a sheep shank. So this time what we're going to do is take our end and we're going to create this pretzel shape so it kind of has an overhand loop and then it crosses behind. Now your damaged section of rope is going to be at the top here and you'll take a bite of this other side and you're actually going to weave this bite through the center section right here just like so and then tighten this up. So that's one side and now you're going to flip it around do the same thing on the other side so again there's our loop there's our pretzel looking shape and that remember that's going to pass through this like this with this other side of the loop so same thing on this side we're going to pass through there just like so tighten everything up and that is with a little adjustment here that is the other way of tying a sheep shank you can see that as we pull from both sides tension is applied here to these and I'm going to actually adjust this a little bit because it needs needs to be evened out a little bit. So as we tighten these two knots here pull from either direction and takes the the weight off of our or our damage section that was here. And again, sheep shank. For more information on the knot you just saw tied, check the description for a link to the full article on ITS. Remember, if you're enjoying the Knot of the Week series, please consider joining our crew leader membership and allow us to give you back something in return for supporting. Check back every Tuesday for a new Knot of the Week, and thanks for watching.